At Field Medical Training Battalion West, students will undergo difficult and realistic training. Students will complete five written examinations, six medical procedure evaluations, four conditioning hikes, and multiple inspections. In civilian settings, it is a common practice to establish intravenous access in all individuals who have suffered significant trauma in the pre-hospital setting. In tactical military settings, this practice has a number of disadvantages such as imposing costs in both time and equipment. The practice of starting IV access on all casualties preemptively had been outdated by the availability of intraosseous techniques. Battlefield casualties may have a traumatic amputation precluding IV access in an extremity. An IO offers an alternate route for the administration of fluids in these type of casualties. This device is not meant to replace IV infusion. It is to be used when IV access cannot be obtained. Step one of the intraosseous procedure is to assess your patient. Step two of the intraosseous procedure is to assemble and check your equipment. You should have everything available from your FAST-1 kit. Step three is to cleanse insertion site using a septic technique. Step four, align finger with jugular notch and place patch verifying the patch is midline. Step five, place the introducer into target area on the patch. Hold with firm grasp. Step six, insert introducer perpendicular to the mandibrium. Use continuous increasing pressure to insert. Step seven, remove introducer by pulling straight back. Step 8. Connect infusion tube to target patch. Step 9. Position the dome over infusion tube and secure.